Today I am going in for my job interview at Bed and Biscuit. Shauna getting a job? <laughs> Woo! <-hoo. laughs> I think it's a really good idea for Shauna to get a job. It's a very good idea for Shauna. <laughs> and it's absolutely necessary. Crucial. After looking at the clothes I had bought, it felt too dressy for this job interview, so I decided to go with something I already owned. And I did not end up taking my mother's advice about covering up my tattoos. I wore a long sleeve shirt only for the purpose of the weather. I'm looking for Joe. I'm Joe. I heard you were hiring, and I'm looking for a job, so this is my resume. This is your resume? How old are you? I'm 22. Do you need my ID and my vaccine I, cards? I, yeah. This is my ID, and then these are my three vaccine cards. Well, well, well look at that. You really are. Mm hmm OK. After Riley and I checked out the apartment, it did put into reality how expensive living on Long Island is. So if I want to move out, I need to get this job. Want to take a little tour? Sure, thank you. Okay. So this is our small area for mm -hmm. small dogs. Okay. You see a little new, new guest here. I've always been interested in working with animals. I first became interested at like four when I wanted to be a vet. So working at a kenneling place is really exciting for me because I don't like working with people as much. All right, let's take a look at the grooming room. Okay. So here we do our uh, bathing. Uh-huh. Okay. We have a washer, dryer here. And then this is where Joy does all the grooming of the dogs. I'm Shauna. Nice to meet you, Shauna. Nice to meet you, too. Well, and so you're very much interested in animals, huh? Yeah, I've wanted to be a vet since I was four, so I'm trying to continue and see if that's something I'm still interested in. Oh, that's great. That's something that I wanted to do also when I was young. I wanted to become one, too. Yeah. But I loved animals and I loved people, so I didn't hit it in the vet area, so I became a groomer. Yeah, you found Whoever a balance. you want to, come on down, and oh, we'll help you out. Thank you, I will. Too. OK. <laughs> I think Shauna would do very well. You have to have that love and desire to care for an animal, you know what I mean? So I think she would do pretty well. I've always been like the person, like if my dog had a tick, if my dog got a bump or something, I was the one taking care of it. I was like, okay, you just stay calm. We're gonna just stay calm and I'm gonna take this biting thing off of you and it's done. See, we're good. And like my, the rest of my family like pukes at that. Like, so it was just like kind of destined for me. So in here we have uh, our feed board. It has all the room numbers. Okay. All of our guests' name. If they're on any medication, what time they need their medication. Okay. What time they eat and what they eat. So we prepare the meals uh, in the morning and in the afternoon, and they're all up here. Okay. So we have some big dogs. Mm -hmm. You gonna have uh, any problems handling them? Um, the challenges I could face with certain dogs are really predominantly to do with the size of the dog because I can be very easily overpowered. All of my dogs at home are taller than me when they stand on their two legs. They all weigh more than me, and I definitely think I can handle it. Do you know how to use a safety lead? I've never used a safety lead, but. Safety I mean, leads are very important. Okay. They're an easy way to uh, walk a dog out. I don't think larger and more aggressive dogs are scarier for me. I think, yes, maybe I don't want to handle them with a lead rope. Maybe give me a harness. But I will definitely figure the situation out, even if it makes me run into a wall. So would you like to take a lab out and show me that you could do this? Sure. OK. This is Cooper right here. Okay. So let's let Cooper in. Okay. Ah, I need a little help there. Yeah. Okay. There's Cooper. Hello. Hi. I'm going to be honest. Uh, Shauna is just fine wrangling any large animal. I've seen <laughs> her with our dog, and then I've seen her on a horse. It does not matter her size. They listen. Yeah, I think you just need to give me like a couple minutes with like a new dog, and I can get them under control. Okay. He is excited. Oh, you're just gonna open the door too. So you can let him off leash and, and uh, let him play. 
Having a job will help me take the next step towards my independence because it will help me financially pay for a car, become financially stable, and potentially move out. Cooper, come here. Okay. You handled him pretty good. So do you think I have a chance of working here? If I want to move out, it is very important that I get this job. I am a little nervous, but I'm definitely very hopeful that I'll get the job. Well, you did really good with him. Oh, did I? You did. You did really good. So, you know, I'd really like to um, offer your position. Oh, thank you. Absolutely. When, when Shauna came in and asked me for an interview, I thought she was about 13. But long and behold, after talking with her, I come to find out she was able to handle the dogs and can fit in perfectly. When do you think you can start? Whenever you need me. Uh, I live right down the road. Okay, tomorrow morning, 6 o'clock. Okay. <laughs> When Joe offered me the job on the spot, I was really excited. I thought that it would be a great opportunity for me to get my hands actually back out there and see if I wanted to go through with being a vet. I am excited that I get to do something that I enjoy while making money to try to get away from my parents a little more. So really, serious uh, tomorrow morning. Okay, that's fine. Okay.